welcome to another part in the Sims 3 Let's Build House series. Uh, today I decided we were going to go ahead and work in one of the secret rooms that we are creating. This is the one that is directly above the, uh, the library and we had a suggestion for it to be um, an office type of room so I had decided since we already had a library and then we're going to eventually have an official office that it's going to be kind of like an office. Um, I, want, I thought maybe we would include some items that maybe you don't really find um, you know, in the regular game. Like for instance, um, I really don't even know what that thing's called. They, they learn uh, their karate from it um, that they can do in China. I thought that would be a nice thing to add. So. Um, that skill would be an option if you own this house. Um, however, your sim, of course, would have to find their way to this room. Of course, just as, you know, all secret rooms are. Uh, then we go ahead and add a few more things that maybe you might see, like, in a type of office. Like, that is some kind of, um, I don't know, like a drawing board thing or whatever. I don't think sims can use it, though. I, I'm not really too sure. I've never actually used it before, so I'm not really too sure. And then um, we have the drawing table, of course, right there for um, learning your... I think they get the artistic skill for it with that. Um, I know you can use it. I think you can use it for uh, the architectural career, I think. I've never actually used it, but I'm pretty sure it gives you some kind of uh, artist skill. And then I thought I'd add a few other things that you would get if you were to, you know, complete some more skills like, um, I believe those items come with, uh, the rebel, uh, traits or whatever those things are. Most of the time I don't even have that in my game, so I'm not 100% familiar with it because some of their interactions really just kind of get on my nerves. Uh, but I thought I'd add a few of those things, um... You know, because like I said, we we are going to have an actual office office type of room and a library, but I wanted to, um, and I kind of agreed with this attic being something kind of like in, in an office type of style. So I thought maybe we would do maybe some objects that you wouldn't normally find in your home, you know, some, you know, bonus items for uh, discovering this room. So... Uh, just going through and doing some recoloring. Um, one thing that I noticed that happened, um, I don't think it happened, started happening at the first half of the, of this video. I had come back, uh, later that day or the next day or whenever it was. I'm not exactly sure exactly because I've been watching the Olympics. So I've been kind of doing a little bit here and a little bit there and, and then I'd, you know, be gone for several hours watching the games and stuff. But, Somewhere along the lines, my copy tool, that eyedropper, stopped working. I, I tried looking up online to see if I could find something about it, but all I could really find was for your Photoshop and Illustrator programs and things like that, but not for The Sims 3. And what I mean by it not working, what's happening is I can copy, like, wallpapers, for instance, or flooring, but if I wanted to copy an object, I wanted... Um, to use a certain curtain again somewhere else, it won't copy it. You'll eventually see somewhere along the line where um, I no longer can copy the items and I have to go back into the menus and look for it again. I can of course transfer the colors from object to object, but for some reason I cannot copy the actual objects. I don't know what's causing it, it just all of a sudden started happening. I do plan on closing out the game completely and clearing out my cache and I, my cache files and seeing if maybe that would work, but I really have no idea at this point what is causing it. Um, I decided while I was thinking of it to remove that computer in the library since that was supposed to be a library not an office, so that is now gone. And I happen to be thinking. Uh, about this kitchen because you know I wasn't too happy about the island area so we just made it regular cabinets I think that looks much better than having the bar uh, however that one chair still probably isn't going to work so I apologize for that 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 chair doesn't work but um, we do have a formal dining room so that'll make up for the problem with the you know the chair and stuff so 
here I decided I wanted to work on the butler's room so that's what we're working on here uh, I'm creating like my own type of desk basically uh, is kind of what I'm creating that is two bookshelves combined you can't really tell that's two of them with the way they're merged together and positioned uh, just keep in mind that there is a back bookshelf on there and that one will not be accept accessible so make sure you you know either disable the interactions to it which is what I do uh, sometimes if you have I believe it's NROS mod I believe it is enabler debug enabler I believe is what it's called you're actually able to disable interactions on an object so sometimes I will just get rid of the interactions um, all together or you can just you know open up that bookshelf remove all the books and then delete them so um, well anyway uh, just going through I wanted to do with the walls I wanted it to be kind of like a plain wall but kind of like a, a border is what I was thinking I wanted it to do but I didn't want anything that would be like really stand out there on on colors so I went with this really light blue and uh, um, I ended up going with basically with this um, just lightening it up it's just a real small hint of blue um, so it almost looks white but yet you know you can kind of see that little bit of a hint of blue and I really thought that looked nice so um, I did experience quite a bit of lag for some reason when I first um, went into the house I mean the camera was moving so quickly and like I've mentioned before in some of my other builds um, the recording aspect always seems to lag my computer more it just can't handle having I mean it can handle it fine but it will lag which kind of gets on my nerves I'm not used to it lagging like this um, and it happens in my let's plays and stuff too and um but the you know I use fraps and I don't know if it's just because of the program I'm using but it causes it to lag just a little bit more than usual uh, but we were experiencing a little bit of it um, but I did get it taken care of we were able to finish um, a few different rooms this time around uh, so since they are a little bit smaller and basic rooms they really didn't take very long so sometimes when you're doing a kitchen or a living room you get so many different kinds of ideas and so many different looks and different things you can do to it they can take a little bit longer but like a bedroom for instance you kind of have pretty much the same things over, you know so it's not really they don't really take too long so but I was really happy with the butler's room um I think most of the time the butler is male I think um, but I didn't really think of you know making this a boy room because of the fact that the butler is usually male I personally absolutely love blue and when you know I I have blue room and I absolutely love it so I mean it doesn't really matter boy girl you know they can like blue I think blue is a very pretty color I love it so um but that's kind of what this room was designed for it is off of the kitchen so that I mean you could use it as a guest room but that's kind of an odd location I guess off of the kitchen um but I thought for it being a butler would you know um would be actually a really good location since your butler does make a lot of the meals for the uh, kids and uh, other sims in the family so they do spend quite a bit of time in the kitchen so um, I thought that'd be a really good place for it and then I decided I wanted to work on the butler's pantry and again if anybody does not know what that is um, a long time ago uh, what they would have in a lot of the Victorian homes and I'm talking like 1800s um, you would even find them in the early 1900s yet and even old, and probably some houses even older yet ones that actually had butlers and maids and stuff a butler's pantry was a little room as you see here and it went between the kitchen and into the formal dining room and that was used for the butler or I guess the maid if that's who you had um, to mix drinks they would uh, clean up you know a few of the dishes right there uh, they would um, you know, and maybe make some uh, like uh, 
I don't know, a cheese, I don't know if it was a cheese tray, but that's the first thing that came to my mind. But they would make up little hors d'oeuvres or something like that right there. And a lot of times that's where they would hang out. They would, um, they would have to be, you know, out of sight as much as they could. And, but they would hang out in there and wait until they were called by the head of the house. So that's kind of what a butler's pantry is. Um, they do have sinks in them and I had found this, um, I'm not exactly sure what it was called, but it, it's some kind of shelf unit that has all these bottles on it. And of course it sits on the floor, but it was nice and tall and I thought, you know what, this would go great inside of a butler's pantry because again, they make drinks and hors d'oeuvres and whatever else that, you know, small little things you know in a butler's pantry and I thought that would just go great and I love the way it looked I mean it looked like it was all one I tried anyway to make it look like it was all one unit all connected and tried combining different things here and there to kind of make it look like you know like there's a little container of cookies and which I think is store content so I apologize if you don't have those cookies but it seems like they had the the um, store content symbol on them. I don't usually pay much attention, but it seems like they do. And then I moved the little wine thing or the bottle, whatever the heck that is, back just a little bit. That way the ice or the lemonade uh, uh, container would fit a little bit better and uh, just a little bit, you know, different things. I ended up not putting anything on that other shelf because it is a really small space, but I didn't want to take it out. I thought it looked nice. So just a few uh, towels to look like, you know, and when that towel gets dirty, they can just reach up, grab a new one, and put it in. I wanted to try making the third one maybe striped, but the stripes don't, they, you can't see them. So I guess there's really no point in trying to make that a decorative towel because you're not going to see it. So... But just, you know, I thought I'd put a little bit of a wall hanging because it wasn't really, I mean, that's right in a doorway. You don't want anything there. In my luck, I'm a klutz. I'd probably walk right into something that was hanging on that wall. So, uh, just something flat like that mirror. And then I decided I wanted to work on the laundry room. So, this room is kind of a combination of a laundry room, which is kind of a good location since it has the outside doors right there, easy access to hanging clothes on the line and kind of like a mud room um because of course it does have a sink if you have any hand washing items um our mud room or laundry room here we have a sink as well and uh you know it usually gets used for bathing animals and um you know hand washing clothes and things like that so but anyway, just kind of trying to create like a shelving unit again. Um, I put a bookshelf there just to kind of give a little bit more interest, um, a little bit more of a different design. As you can see, now we're in the part where I couldn't copy anything. As you can see, I couldn't copy those shelves from the kitchen. I had to go back in and get brand new ones and then recolor them, which tends to add a little bit more time because you got to go back in and find the items and stuff like that so and I really dislike how many items really don't go on a shelf um, there's so many items like I've seen people find little uh, I don't know maybe it was a custom content or maybe a store content I don't know but little photo frames that go on a shelf I've yet to find it <laughs> I have no idea where it is just like honestly I've never seen the Christmas tree I've been told it's in the lights but I've never seen one and I and I have seasons I don't know where it is and I think I've seen a few Christmas items but I have never found the Christmas tree I have no idea where it is for some whatever reason I don't have a Christmas tree <laughs> I have no idea why um but, you know, like I said, just trying to add some more clutter items. Um, to me, a laundry room or a mud room just seems like another storage area that you would probably have all kinds of things just kind of sitting around and stuff like that. So, and I just now realized I did all that cluttering and I never put down any laundry soap or softener. <laughs> I just saw that. Normally, I add those things, but I apparently did not think of it for some reason this time around so I decided I wanted to try to go with a theme 
that went with the washer and dryer which was kind of a red theme and I do change the wallpaper we do not keep the flowers um, that ends up looking way too busy to my for my taste I didn't want it quite that busy so as you can see right here we are getting ready to change that as you can see I can copy wallpapers and I can copy floors but I cannot copy objects and you'll see a few more times here where um, like I ended up putting a few sconces and stuff on the wall and I can't copy them I get one on there change the color and they, I go to copy it and I can't I don't have any idea what happened and it happened between recordings and the computer was not or the game was not turned off in between recordings because I had only stepped out for a little while to watch some of the games and then I came back and I don't have any idea what happened but like I said I will try um, taking the game down completely and clearing my cache and things like that which I don't normally do because then um, I tend to lose all my custom color creations that I do you know sometimes I save them and clearing my cache always seems to delete it I have noticed always so but here we're just doing a little bit of a sitting area because like I said I wanted this to be like a mud room so it would be kind of a place where you could sit down take your shoes off um, I create kind of um, what I do here is I make a little bit of like an end table I guess you could say I wanted it to kind of look like an end table uh, slash a uh, shoe caddy or something or another kind of like one whole unit is what I wanted it to look like I wanted it to look like you could put you know it was a table to put you know lamps on and stuff like that or drinks but at the same time hold your shoes uh, so that's kind of what I had done here and I thought it turned out really cute I really like that idea I just might have to use it again in another build because that is the first time I have done that I have stacked shoes in the caddies before for closets but I've never created kind of like an end table type of look so um like right there I couldn't copy that scone so it really was irritating me not being able to copy I usually do so much copying because it saves so much time but it just wasn't working for me today I have no idea why so but plenty of rugs uh, that way to help catch any mud and dirt and who knows what else you might be tracking in from outside so and I like sometimes putting on these doors cur these curtains from uh, I think it's Master Suite I think I'm not really too sure um, but I really like those curtains I like to be able to put them I put them sometimes on archways and things like that and I had thought about putting it on the archway going out to the kitchen but I thought maybe that would have been too much but um, you know maybe leave a comment down below what you think about maybe put in curtains on the archway going to uh, the kitchen so as of right now there aren't any curtains in there so uh, but they can always be added uh, now we're going in and putting in and I almost forgot the laundry hampers coming close to the end of the video so if you have any more suggestions leave them down below and thank you for watching and I will see you next time have a wonderful day bye